Hello and welcome back to Judventures. Today we're going to talk to you about our top 10 tips for people with ADHD and autism when visiting Alton Towers. One of the most popular theme parks in the UK, Alton Towers has lots of amazing rides, attractions and shows, but it can also be very overwhelming for people with sensory issues, anxieties or difficulties with waiting in line. So here are some tips that can help you have fun and a stress-free day when you visit Alton Towers. Tip 1. Plan ahead. Before you go to Alton Towers, do some research on the park's website and check out the park map. The ride descriptions, the height requirements, the opening hours and the weather forecast. You can also watch some videos on YouTube to get an idea of what the ride looks like and how fast they go. This will help you decide which rides you want to do and which ones you want to avoid. Tip number two, and arguably the most important tip of the day, obtain a ride access pass. If you have a disability that makes it difficult for you to queue, you can apply for a ride access pass at the resort box office on the day of your visit. The pass will allow you to access the ride through a separate entrance and reduce the wait times in line. You will need to provide some proof of disability, such as a doctor's letter, a disability living allowance letter or an autism alert card. You can also get a carer's pass if you need someone to accompany you on the rides. The ride access pass works differently than in other theme parks around Europe, whereby you will gain almost immediate access onto the ride. However, the ride wait time at the time will be checked if it's a 40 minute wait time this will be put on your ride access pass and it will be 40 minutes before you can instantly access a ride again. This allows people with difficulties queuing to walk around the park whilst they wait for their allotted time to make this fair for all guests. Tip number three, bring ear defenders, sunglasses and a hat. Alton Towers can be very noisy, bright and hot, especially during the summer months. These can trigger sensory overload, headaches or meltdowns for some people. To avoid this you can bring ear defenders, sunglasses and hats to block out some of the noise, light and heat. You can also bring some headphones and listen to some calming music or podcasts while you wait in lines around the park. Tip number four, find a quiet area. If you need a break from the crowds and the stimulation, you can find some quiet areas in the park where you can relax and recharge. Some of the quiet areas are the gardens, the Enchanted Forest, Sharkbait Reef Aquarium and the Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre. You can also ask a member of staff for directions to the nearest quiet place if you need one. Tip number five, bring some snacks and drinks. Alton Towers has a lot of food and drink options, but these can be very expensive, unhealthy or not to the liking of individuals with certain sensitivities. To avoid hunger, thirst or frustration, you can bring some snacks and drinks that you can enjoy that suit your dietary needs. You can also bring some chewing gum, mints or fidget toys to help you cope with anxiety, boredom or stress. Tip number six, use the Alton Towers app. The Alton Towers app is a useful tool that can help you navigate the park, check the ride wait times, find the nearest facilities and access exclusive offers. You can also use the app to book your tickets, reserve your parking spot and check the park's safety measures. This takes away some of the stress of the day and the app is also free to download. Tip number seven, communicate your needs. If you have any questions, concerns or requests, don't be afraid to communicate them to staff, your family or your friends. The staff at Alton Towers are extremely well trained to assist guests with disabilities and special needs and they will do their utmost best to accommodate you. You can also use some communication aids such as cards, symbols or devices to express yourself better if this helps. Tip number eight, be flexible and realistic. Even with the best planning and preparation, things can go wrong and can change at a moment's notice at Alton Towers. Rides can break down, weather can change, crowd levels can vary and you can change your mind about something you had planned to do. Instead of getting upset or frustrated, try to be as flexible and realistic as possible. Have a backup plan, a contingency plan and even a plan B. Be open to trying new things, 
skipping some things, or doing things completely differently than planned. Remember that the goal is to have fun, not to do everything. Tip number nine, celebrate your achievements. Visiting Alton Towers can be a big challenge for some people with ADHD and autism, but it can also be a big achievement. You can celebrate your achievements by rewarding yourself with something you like, such as a souvenir, a treat, or a compliment. You can also share your achievements with others, such as your family, your friends, or on social media. You can be proud of yourself for facing your fears, trying new things, and having a great time. And last but not least, tip number 10, have fun. Alton Towers is a place where you can enjoy yourself, have fun, and make wonderful memories. Don't let your worries, doubts or challenges stop you from having the best possible time. Focus on the positive aspects, the fun moments and the happy feelings. Remember, however difficult your day, you're not alone. You are just a person who loves theme parks and just like anyone else, you deserve to have fun. Well that's it for today. We hope you find our top 10 tips here at Judd Ventures for people with ADHD and autism when visiting Alton Towers to be helpful in your day. If you have any additional tips or you like the tips that you've heard today, please leave us a comment down below. Hit that like button and please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help a small channel like ours grow and allows us to continue doing what we do. With that being said, that's it for today. We hope to see you soon. Goodbye.